Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin from JH Marlin Law, a law firm that specializes in citizenship by investment. Today's video is going to talk about the St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Program and what to expect for the St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Program from now until the end of the year, until the 31st, so meaning until the 31st of December, 2022. So likely the St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Programs likely to continue for years to come. There's different options for obtaining citizenship. We've done a couple of videos about the St. Lucia program in the past, but I just wanted to provide the most up-to-date information regarding St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment. We've helped a number of applicants with the program. A lot of people have expressed that they wanna go there and spend time in St. Lucia. And what's interesting about being a citizen of St. Lucia is that you can go and live there um, indefinitely. You have the same rights, um, pretty much the same rights as a local citizen. And so there's different options for obtaining St. Lucia citizenship by investment, either through donation to the economic fund, uh, through investment in government bonds. And those two options seem to be the most popular. There's also a real estate option, as well as the potential to invest in an enterprise project. So cost-wise, the donation starts at 100,000 for a single applicant. There's also due diligence fees, legal fees, and some other fees. And then there is also um, the government bond option, which starts at 250,000. The government bond needs to be maintained for five years. It comes with a 30,000 administration fee, due diligence fees, and a few some other fees. And then there's the investment in government approved real estate. So it's really important that you can't just buy any real estate. It really needs to be government designated and government pre-approved. Um, a lot of the options for St. Lucia, I don't think any of them have been built yet. Um, or, or they're in the process of being built, uh, I'd have to go and do um, more up-to-date information on that. I'll be in St. Lucia soon, and I will also be going to, to verify um, the real estate there in St. Lucia. Then there's another option, which is investment in enterprise, and this is a $3.5 million investment. We've never done this option for clients. Most clients end up doing the either the donation or the government bond route, but this is also um, another option, and it must fit specific criteria um, to fall under the enterprise option. So, so what are the benefits of St. Lucia citizenship by investment? Well, you have a very high level of visa-free travel, um, over 130 countries. If you're someone that wants to renounce your citizenship and you're a citizen of the US and you don't have a second passport, particularly if you're a single applicant, sometimes St. Lucia is the most um, affordable price-wise. And um, in addition to visa-free travel, like you have the you have the right to live there, um, you have the right to do business there. You can open bank accounts, you can purchase real estate, and you don't have to pay for the alien land holding license fee to own real estate. Um, you can pass on the citizenship through descent and include other family members in an application for citizenship. Um, and also, too, if you're concerned about the direction that your government's going in, or your home citizenship, or, or you're just worried in general having a second passport plan b option as a place where you can go as we've seen during <laughs> with all the COVID 19 lockdowns and restrictions saint lucia was one of the most was fairly open throughout the pandemic and lifestyle on the islands was really great during the pandemic uh, a lot of people were locked in their apartments in cold environments and um, other people got to experience just like life out on the beach life as normal or pretty much close to normal uh, in the islands. So uh, we have we do have more specific information about St. Lucia on our website at jhmarlin.com um, and we can answer particular questions for uh, specific to you and your family. Important to note for St. Lucia is that you need an original birth certificate to be issued the passport so you can't just provide a notarized copy uh, of your birth certificate. Um, you definitely need a valid passport, a valid national ID, which is the case for all of the citizenship by investment programs. Um, but yeah, I, I do love spending time in St. Lucia. I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time there and I look forward to being on the ground and spending more time. I think I'll do a couple of videos showing what life is like in St. Lucia, as well as activities and things to do and just in general more so you get a more of an understanding of what St. Lucia is all about. All the best. Bye for now.